What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Stock Martians YouTube channel. This is freaking huge. What I'm about to tell you is what I think is going to officially be what causes GameStop's short sellers to cover their short positions. And this is still speculative. It's not solid, but I think there are so many points lining up here that it's it's either going to be what I'm about to tell you or Gary Gensler, who has just been appointed to the director of the SEC. I mean, he, he brought everybody uh, to their knees during the 2008 crisis, and I think he is preparing to do that again here, but uh, this might beat him to it. So let's get right into it. We saw... This huge spike this morning, followed by a reversion back to where the open was, and we thought, okay, here we go. It's going to tank again. It's going to go down to probably $120, $115. Now, they're going to keep driving the price down, but guess what happened? We shot up all the way in the 170s and hung around and then closed at 166.53, up $25.54, 18%. Personally, think that because of the news that came out yesterday and solidified today, late yesterday, mind you, I think that some shorts may have stopped shorting the stock today. And that's why we saw the price rise, because it wasn't being shorted as heavily as it had been. And I think they're preparing for something, and that's to cover. And let me tell you why I think that's true. Well, we all heard the news that GameStop has uh, paid off of its uh, short-term uh, bonds that it had taken out, its senior notes. So right here, this article says GameStop vanquishes ghost of Blockbuster with debt redemption. So GameStop announces plans to retire senior notes due, to two year, uh, due in two years, leaving the company virtually debt-free. The video game chain said Tuesday it's redeeming 216.4 million of notes. GameStop also redeemed 73.2 million of debt last month. At the end of January, the company had about 363 million in net debt. Being debt free is unusual for brick and mortar retailers such as Walmart and Best Buy, which have billions, billions, billions in long term obligations. GameStop is in turnaround mode. It's long been losing money and has closed more than a thousand stores. For years, the company had been dogged by talk that it could be the next Blockbuster. The video store chain that ended up filing for bankruptcy. You all know what happened to Blockbuster. Uh, you know, Netflix came in the door and said, hey, you want to buy our business? And they said, don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. And then they took them over. <laughs> and that's what happens. But look, that's not, that's not what's happening here. This is happening internally, right? Uh, basically, Ryan Cohen is Netflix, and he's like, sorry, you don't get a chance to turn down my offer. We're going to change this thing. Look, they're trying to transform from a brick-and-mortar retailer to an e-commerce marketing uh, marketplace competing with Amazon. That's Ryan Cohen's vision, and I think <laughs> with his recent uh, chairman announcement, I think he's going to be able to do it, you know? And, and you know, look, they're, they're going to raise a billion dollars via a stock sale, potentially, uh, which I think is going to happen once this starts squeezing, and it's not going to hurt us at all. It's, I, I, we made a video on that. The amount of stock that they're going to sell is not going to affect the squeeze at all. It's going to be fine. And it's also going to help GameStop's future. So I think this is a win-win. And look, uh, they're also looking for a new CEO now. <laughs> Cohen said, look, man, you're going to have to get out of here. But why is this important, right? We, are, we already know this information. They're debt-free now. Cool. All right. Like, they're debt-free. That's great. Their balance sheet looks better now. Well, this is a little graphic I found that I wanted to share. So this is Mr. Vince McMahon from the old WWF days, if you don't remember. GameStop paid off $216 million in debt. Debt wasn't due until 2023. Debt was the only thing keeping them from announcing a dividend. Borrowers of shares have to pay the dividend. Hmm. Interesting. So right here on Investopedia, I'm going to read you this little portion here that explains what I'm trying to say. Shorting a stock is essentially selling it and buying back at a future price. We all know that. If it falls, you profit. If it doesn't, you lose a lot of money, which is what's going to happen to the hedgies like Melvin and Citadel's other constituents. 
A brokerage firm usually handles this process. There's generally a borrowing fee for the stock, which is that short borrow fee we, we see on uh, Fintail and other websites. Depending on its availability and liquidity, additionally, the borrower of the stock is responsible for paying any dividends. If an investor is short a stock on the record date, they are not entitled to a dividend, and in fact, the investor is responsible for paying the dividend owed to the lender of the shorted stock that they borrowed. Investors short a stock if they expect it to decline in value. We knew that already too. But look, that means that the hedgies have to pay us dividends if they so choose to issue one, and now they can, right? So there's been some circulation. There's been some articles that talk about this from many different angles. But if you guys have followed us for a while, two weeks ago, we released a video that gave you, it was called Dueling GME Squeeze Catalysts, and it gave you every possible way that GME could squeeze. And the very last one, which we highlighted as being the most likely, was a dividend, but a specific dividend. And we'll get into that now. So what do we mean a specific dividend? Well, GameStop did post a job listing a few days ago that hints at crypto or an NFT project. This video that we made also uh, talks about this at the very end. Now, we know that uh, we made a video on this yesterday, so it's, uh, go watch that video if you haven't already. It fully explains it. But look, the, 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 job, the job description here is, is they want someone who is a security analyst that has experience with blockchain, crypto, or NFTs. And, you know, that's, that's crucial. You know, look, the job requirements suggest that GameStop may be about to join the NFT trend by launching gaming collectibles on its platform or that the company is planning sales via native or public cryptocurrencies. NFTs have a major use <laughs> uh, case in the video game industry and in tokenizing in-game assets. I mean, it's, it's, it is huge. I mean, all everywhere, every game you play, there's those NFTs that you use to buy new packages, new outfits, new weapons, things of that nature. Look, I think that this is what they plan to do anyways, and now that they can offer a dividend, and here's the job description that I showed you yesterday, and I just wanted to highlight this just so you know, it's not a joke. Blockchain, cryptocurrency, and non-fungible tokens right here in this GameStop posting from 4.8. Look, they could offer a crypto dividend, an NFT dividend of GameStop's own special NFT that they may be creating behind the scenes right now. Now look, this is huge because of one reason. And this is what I showed everyone two weeks ago in that video. Patrick Byrne, as his final act over Overstock.com, crushed short sellers who were shorting his stock. And how did he do that? While other reasons may exist for the rally... One explanation centers on a blockchain-based digital security that Overstock said on July 30th it would grant to shareholders of record, record date, on September 23rd as a dividend. Because the security could prove hard for others to lay hands on, the potential exists for it to snarl the process by which shorts maintain their positions. I'll read that again. The potential exists for it to snarl the process by which shorts maintain positions. Now let me read you even further down here. This sentence right here. It is a complex situation and we're trying to help our clients figure out the best course of action, said J.J. Kenahan, the chief market strategist at TD Ameritrade. As for the rally, he said, if you're short the stock, how are you going to deliver crypto? Remember, if you are short a stock, you have to pay a dividend. And if a dividend is a crypto, and the only way to get this crypto is through the dividend, how do you get it? You have no way of delivering it. So you're like, okay, well, I have to cover this stock because I can't deliver the dividend. This is it. If this gets announced, I don't know when. I, don't, I, I mean, they're hiring for the position now. So it's probably not going to be this week and or next week, but maybe next month, maybe uh, the next month, right around maybe the annual sh annual shareholder meeting, they may announce this. Look, uh, this minus any SEC, any regulation, anything being enforced, which we know is very unlikely until Mr. Gary stepped in recently, 
uh, today. Uh, I mean, this could be it. This could be Ryan Cohen's big middle finger to the hedge funds saying, back off. If you pay me so we can pay our people and we can make this company the best it can be. And I think that's what he's doing. It's very clear. I mean, he's been very, very silent about what's going on in the company. You know, that meeting, their earnings meeting, they didn't really give you any information. They told you what their earnings were and said, buy no questions. I think they're preparing for war, this financial war that we're in right now. And these war crimes, these financial war crimes that these hedge funds and Citadel specifically are putting out here in the market, they're performing on us, uh, you know, giving, <laughs> this is just, this is not good for them. This is it. I think this is it. We said this is the most likely reason that this stock would squeeze. And I think this is going to be what makes GameStop squeeze. And I think it's going to be within the next couple months. I'm not going to give you a specific date. That's just a thought. Of course, this isn't financial advice. This is just my opinion. But so far, my opinions are lining up pretty well. So I personally tripled down on my GME investment today. I think that this is where it's at, and I think that this is going to be big. So remember to diamond hands. Remember, they're going to do many, many things to try to get you to sell out of your position. All you have to do is hold and wait and watch that price continually rise. They're going to try to stop loss hunt. They're going to try to give you a little mini pop to see if you'll sell. Don't do it. Just wait and hold until that big, big number pops up with lots of zeros, and then you know. Also remember, and I want to point this out for everyone, set your floor, whether that's a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, whatever you want to set your floor at, just remember that that doesn't mean when you hit that floor you sell. That means if it pops over a hundred thousand dollars and that's what your floor is, but it goes above that, any money you take above that floor is more than what you expected to get. That hundred thousand is the least you're willing to take not at the point you sell it just in case you're confused on that so thank you i hope you enjoyed the video like this video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell for all of our future updates you guys have a great day keep the diamond hands strong and keep faith in this ape community because we're going to do it we're going all the way to the freaking moon thank you guys